on. I hope I'm saving. Ooh, this is my environment I live in. I wonder if I was thinking about. You know what really sucks when you have really high ADHD and people think you're a drug addict and you can't even go like to a bus stop. I mean, this is me naturally, and it really sucks how doctors perceive you. You know how they um perceive that when you talk fast and you can't sit still and you're fidgeting and it's really PTSD and ADHD you're okay and, and even if they don't give you substances you can make it because I don't know how my insanity is doing it because I'm losing my mind because of snow and everything but I mean post a comment I'll, I'll look at him and answer you can call me insane I don't care this is real life and things that happen and how government agents treat you and you know it's just insane but what I wanted to say is I have no idea. I mean, I'm not Kibby on the camera. I'm not Russell Brand. I'm not a main person. I'm just a human being. Like everyone. Oh, quick, quick, that was my daughter. We just saw. But she doesn't want to be seen, so we're going to do isolate. But I'm just saying is, you, how they would, Trump has done with medication, taking away, and them using antipsychotics as beta blockers don't do it because if you don't have a mental illness, it can cause mental illness. And there's nothing wrong with saying to a doctor, it doesn't work in my body. And if it takes months and months that they understand if some old method works, they have to eventually hear you. Because it's like, what are they, they're so sad when they wait for the window that you're really down, they go, oh, we'll just put on something original. So I finally got two of my original medications back, which is good. But it just sucks because nowadays, because of Trump and medication, everything that they're taking away, it's made harder for people that are in poverty. And it sucks, and I'm just trying to reach out to anyone that wants to respond. No, it's not dogs clashing in. I mean, I do have crazy dogs. There's one of them. And there's the other one. They're my babies. And now I found a bird in my backyard who's loose in my bedroom. And we've got a cat. Yes, I found a cat. I found a cat in a tree. And his name is Ash. And I will show you a picture of him. If we can find Ash. Ah, oh, let's see. Ash. This cat, literally, had a can on his head. Ash, kitty, kitty. And the reason why we called him Ash is Ash. Well, he's hiding. The bird I found in my backyard because college students love to just um, get rid of him. So, you want to see this? There she is. Look. And this is what someone did. Uh, my daughter wished for a bird. So, one day I was in the backyard. Yes, I was having a sip of wine. And this thing. So, that's baby. And she lives in my crazy room. And then the next week, my daughter wanted a cat. And Ash lives behind the couch in the fireplace. And I'll try to get him down. Ash! And so I was, he lives behind the So we call him Ash because Ash is fireplace. And he sleeps inside the couch. He was actually very creative. This cat he knew to drill a hole in the couch, so he crawls up there. I thought the other night, my daughter, real fast, that was her. I thought she might have sat on him when we heard sales. Anyway, my hands are cramping. I want to get an update, and I will be back. I think I'll just do a daily log and talk to you guys and check the comments. I'm not rich. I'm very poor. 8,000 plus less. But I'm going to say I'm surviving, and I have dealt with so many addicts coming through my door, so many people using me, wearing my heart on my sleeve, trying to speak. But I'm going to tell you something. The Oscars and Lady Gaga set my mind to fight for things. It was, it was Lady Gaga's speech when she said, Keep trying. If you have a dream... Or if no one's listening, how many times you get rejected? Keep a trying. There's my daughter. And there's a kid. But anyway, love you guys. Peace. So. And now, as they used to say in the old 80s, ooh, that is a safe. Safe? Because they give you a free safe with the code. Now, that's where my daughter's meds are. Now, the question is, if she stops the meds, do you get to keep the safe or do they come and get the safe? And if you don't have the safe, do they charge you for the safe? Good one. Now, if the government can give you a nice safe like that, don't you think they should let you have massages for people with MS like me and arthritis or people that had bad exes? I mean, you know how much the government, if on the Oregon Health Plan or any, you know, oh, my hand's cramping. Sorry, darling. It says this, you know, it gets like really, does a thing of its own and it stays like this. It stays called the claw syndrome. And it really hurts like a motherfucker because it does what it wants. But back to what I was saying, um, it's just hard. I'm, I'm in pain right now. I, I'm just saying stick with fighting because someone eventually will hear you even if you have to repeat things 20 times 30 times eventually they know you're speaking what's hard in the united states now people that are low poverty and all the funds they've taken away is that they make you repeat something over and over again 
and it's a terrible game, and, and then it can switch paperwork, and then the next person can switch in, but just keep trying, be heard, and I'm just rambling, because I'm, I'm not on my medication, but, but yet they will say, oh, you're not on your medication, but, uh, I can't understand you, and you have, you know, it's like I've had a bad life from two on up, Orleans, and it just sucks because I'm done helping people. And, ah, there is like a motherfucker. This is what it does. This is a claw. And it's like moving inside. See this? That is wonderful MS. And it's still locking. Look at that. Ah! This fucking hurts like a motherfucker. It's like really mother. See that? Motherfucker. There's Gizzy. There's PJ. And we ain't going fucking outside. So, anyone wants really the truth. And this is what people are doing every day. Getting their car out. And it's supposed to snow. Ah! Oh, and the hand is cramping. So claw effect is, as I'm doing it right now, as we speak, it hurts like a mother. See the hands, and they're doing this on their own. But the doctors say this is not painful. It's very painful. It hurts, dude. And my arms are losing their ligaments, muscles, but it's all in my mind? No, this is my body, and it really, really hurts. Anyway, get back to me if you want. I hope you like this video. And let's see if I can do this again.